Good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Sophie and Sam are in the barn. I was just in there, but I forgot my battery, forgot my memory card. So starting the vlog again, we're headed down. I'm headed down to let the goats out. We have a busy day today. So we're almost to the point where we can start building stuff for the goats. They have the rocks a couple of fields over, but I threw this ladder down and they loved it. So I threw this wood on top of it. Oh man. They love it. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. I love just standing here watching the goats every single day. I also love that they pee in the same spot every day. Also, see this little this little doe right there? She is the sweetest thing. She's our she's my favorite. Sophie loves her baby. But the thing about her is that every day she stands and waits for us. She stands right at the door when she hears us coming. She hears us from so far away and she'll stand at the door and she waits. She's so sweet. Her name's Mocha. They've just run off to the rock field. <laughs> Um, so uh, yesterday we took the day off. You guys didn't notice because there was still a video. It actually takes so long to make those kind of videos. That's why I don't do them very often. If I download an old video just to take pieces of it, I have to convert it before I can use it in my program. Otherwise it crashes all the time. Oh man, it is so much work. It took me about six hours just to make that saying goodbye video. Six hours. We took the day off and we did some stuff around the farm. We just didn't video. So I'll sh today I'm going to show you a couple updates, just a few small things. Um, I told you in the last video that we've been leaving the door open for the cat. Let's see if he needs water. Um, and he's been staying around. I haven't seen him outside one. Other than that, he's been staying right where he needs to be in this barn somewhere. I don't know where he is now, probably sleeping somewhere. Hopefully he didn't go outside. But if he does, it's time, time for him to figure out his new place. And I know he likes it here, so hopefully he'll stick around. In other news, the goats really love this side of the barn because it's sunny. There's some hay down on the ground. It's soft. Uh, yesterday it was raining all day and I was worried about them. Look at that. I came out to have a rest. So I filled that little thing up with hay for them. It was out of the rain. They could stay under here and still be outside from and be protected from the rain. They really like this area. They like it better than the area that we started them on. Um, you guys can see they have a large area to roam now. Eventually, maybe one day, <laughs> that baby bothering her mom. Eventually, maybe one day we can let them roam around more acres. I'd love to see them integrated with the horses, but at the same time, that's a nightmare. I don't know if I'm ready for. They are loving their automatic waterer. We are still getting used to these horns. This one, this one here, Tilly, she always is butting her head against somebody. And if your hand is in the middle, she doesn't care. She just butts. She just head butts everybody. But anyway, that is our morning. Whoops. That's our morning hello to the goats. Sophie and I will be out here many, many more times today, taking pictures, taking videos, watching them through like all the weeded flowers, the flowers that are weeds. Oh my gosh. It's just so pretty. So the other change that we made yesterday in the pouring rain was, all right, it looks messy in here, but we brought over the little chicken coop for the silky babies. I'm gonna explain. This is our brooder box. It's where we put our baby chickens and I love the ventilation on the top. <laughs> so he's like, get me out now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get Sam put to put some mesh 
some hardware cloth on on this front side so that they can see out better but basically when you have a, this is a brooder a brooder is where you put baby chicks so typically we put our baby chickens in here before they're ready to go in with the flock so then when they are ready to go in with the flock i wanted some place that i could move them oh are you guys not coming out oh you are coming out hi <laughs> I wanted some place that I could move them that was close to the um, close to the chicken coop that the horses or that the chickens could all see one another and get used to each other uh, before we move them over. These are silky. Silkies are a really gentle, quiet breed. So basically, this is the step up brooder. So this is the brooder. This is where they go so that they can see the other chickens before we move them over. Um, I'm probably going to push it over a little bit more closer to the chickens so they can go up against them but silkies tend to be super gentle and not fair as well when you put them in with regular chickens. Chickens can be quite mean. As can, as can goats, as can dogs. But I have to admit, I've never seen a mean bone in this goose's body. Now that we have more animals, it seems like mornings are spent with everybody doing chore, chores and we all have our own set of chores. One of the hardest parts I find is that every single person needs fresh water. I clean their pet, their water about every other day and still gets so muddy and gross. I've read that's normal though and it doesn't smell and it takes a lot of water so I'm happy changing it every other day. I try and do everybody's water in the morning and take it out like so this is the ducks water for nighttime but i take it out in the morning our chicken coop is so quiet during the day so another change that happened while you were away yesterday is that sam has been moving all of his stuff from his storage room in the barn some of you guys might remember it he's been moving it into here he's been discovering that a lot of the stuff he kept was junk so that's all going to garbage he still has more stuff to bring over, but he's been taking, but he's been utilizing this little tiny room. I wonder, does this room have light? Nope. Anyway, um, I would have loved to have used this room as a room for the duck and the goose, but he needed a storage space. So it just makes more sense that he used this room. Horses are right where I am. They love this field in the morning. I don't know why. So the biggest change that I find at this farm is that we're all separated. There's so much more room and everything is so far apart from one another that the girls and Sam do the horses in the morning and I do the ducks and the chickens and the goats. I hardly see them. Gabby's in there right now taking care of Chino. He has an abscess, he has two abscesses, which happened because he got a little bit of grass. He's super sensitive. We also have a vet coming this week. We have the goats seeing the vet soon and we also have Chino seeing the vet soon. He sees the vet often just for like checkups and just for making sure that things are going smoothly in his recovery. So uh, Farrier helped him a lot with his abscesses, um, but he still, we're still soaking. Sam and Sophie have gone to get coffee and then we're all gonna head over to the other house and bring the last of the stuff. While they're getting coffee, I am going to try and make some bug, some fly spray. I found a recipe online. I've been trying to, I've been dying to make it. So this recipe is vinegar. It's vinegar and Listerine. I use the regular Listerine that's not minty. It's the brown stuff and I have like a whole huge bottle of it. I can't find it anywhere. Oh, I wonder if it's in here. We just brought this stuff over last night from the barn. Some supplements. Some coconut oil. Hmm. I still don't find it. I can't even find my baby oil. I have baby oil and I have Listerine. That's the problem with moving is that you put it all away and then you can't remember where you put it and I can't find it and I need those two things. Ah, found you. Now, let's see if I can find my baby oil. We just got back with our one of our last loads from the old house and one of our chickens was out and we're so confused. And yes, that's Gabby with a dinosaur on her back. <laughs> So, essentially, it was just chilling. Yeah, the rooster got out. It's not a rooster. This chicken got out of that pen. And She's so calm though. I don't and see it. it. Might have climbed out, but 
Where was it? It was just eating her food. In stuff here? In cheeks. She said there was a chipmunk in here yeah. stuffing its cheeks. How did it get in is the question. How did this get out? And how did this get out? See, I see there's a spot here. That's dangerous. He was just chilling with my small chicken. Where is it? With my small chicken. All right, well, there's an issue. We have to fix it. Um, but I hate this thing. Uh, she doesn't even care. I know, she's so cute. I was like, why is there a movie how cute rock? she is. So there's an actual chipmunk sitting there eating their food? Yes. So It was uh, running around with the chickens. I hate this thing. It's awkward, and it's not very... I'll have to get Sam to fix it. But um, it's hard to open the door and change their food in the water and stuff. So what I want to do, which we're going to do once we're all settled, you guys, we're still not settled. But what we want to do is use this stuff and build like a, a area there. Look, it's so chill. Yeah, well, you got to shove her back. So, <laughs> Sophie, I know she's calm. She's sweet. She didn't even try and go. She's like, I'm just going to chill here. So we're going to make a run to the second hand store and drop off this table and a few other things. But literally, we had to move mats today, horse mats, and they're the grossest thing ever. So I'm just going to change my clothes. We've always had a rug in our bedroom. Like, we've always had rugs before. A house with, like, the house feeling super homey. But with four dogs, I just, it's not my thing. It's, <laughs> I just, I'm waiting for rugs. <laughs> how to be a bad Christian. All right, so we decided to stay and check out the books at the secondhand store after we dropped off our table. I've read these when I was little. When I was little, I read Nancy Drew. I read like all of them. I collected all of them. Oh, hi. <laughs> Too hot? I just looked a minute ago on the camera and all the horses were in here. I think they were just so hot. It is looking hot out there. It's nice out though. There's a breeze. Hi, storm. I love. Look at his eyes are getting. Is that dirt? It's dirt. Oh my goodness. I thought his eyes were getting super bleached. When we first brought Storm home, he didn't like any attention. Like he didn't want me rubbing his head. He didn't want me scratching him and playing with his ears. And and I kept thinking, like, is it because he's disconnected with us? Because he'd been gone. Because he used to love us scratching him. He used to like cuddle right into Sam and I. And then he just stopped. He wasn't like that when he came home. But now he's like that again. So I had to be... What's, oh, there's a bug on you. Yeah. Big bad bugs. Anyway, Sam said, like, we've been working this whole day with him trying to get all his stuff over. And you know how, like, we've been moving stuff over and then putting it away, moving it over and putting it away, and it's been, like, nice and clean. Well, now is the time when everything is just dropped here. Our nice, relatively clean tech room is not clean now. Uh, we're going to have to move these mats one more time, put them where they're going to go. There's stuff everywhere. <laughs> everywhere and i mean everywhere just stuff everywhere our garbage container is so full how are you feeling tired exhausted tired. we didn't sleep good last night because he slept with the windows open and it, there was no airflow in our room was there no it's 4 17. 4 17. <laughs> anyway sam said go home do whatever you guys want because we've been working so hard all day like just have a rest, do whatever you want. And so what we decided to do was take our horses for a walk. And now of course it's gonna rain. Oh, I'm exhausted, but we're gonna do it right now. There's Chino and Willow's salt. Chino bites it. And there's the other horses' salt. They, um, we put salt in their food too. All right, I wanna brush my, my horse. My goal on the little path is to train Penny to come with me, like to just go with no halter, no nothing, just go for a walk with me. I've been watching their weight on this grass too to make sure that they don't like gain a ton. Hi, you wanna go for a walk? So Chino has abscess, like I said, so he's not coming. Penny's definitely gained some pounds since we moved. We, we still haven't opened the gate for at night. We're just putting them in a little bit later each night and it's starting to pour, it's starting to pour. You guys might not get to come with us. We're still going. Yeah, it's raining, but we're going because they at least, so we wanted to ride today, but we couldn't because we had to help Sam get all his stuff. It's been a day. Have I mentioned that it's been a day? <laughs> Anyways, we're taking you guys for a walk in the rain. 
with us with my pudgy with my pudgy pony. Change of plans. <laughs> it's pouring. We almost we just got to the gate and it just started pouring so bad and we're like, mm, no. I just don't like them sitting out there in the grass eating all day. Ruby run through the gate because she looks so much like honey. Oh really? Yeah, I'm like a crap. What? This is my spot remover. That is fly spray. Where'd no, you get that? On the shelf, like you said. Show me where you got it. Because it was in here. Uh oh. Yeah. It wasn't in your bucket. What's this one? Oh, nobody touched that one. This is for sure fly spray. It does it's not a different smell like fly spray. I made homemade fly spray. With what, vinegar? That's not vinegar. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> it is. No. I don't like when Storm's in the shelter with them because... They have like two shelters. Yeah, they could go down in another shelter, but he's mean, so nobody wants to be in there with him. Penny, we gotta ride, Missy. You be looking chunky. It's nice and cool now, though. Porcino has two abscesses. Did I mention that? <laughs> well, now we're trapped in the barn. Look at the dust because the horses were running around. Look at the dust. It's cozy in here, though. It's nice and cool. I love it. No cell phones. We put Storm in the stall until the storm passes because he's chasing everybody out of the out of this room. What? <laughs> we're staying here till the rain passes. I'm running too. All right, well wait. Okay, wait for me, wait for me. Now I'm worried about a tornado. Like this is scary. This is scary, you guys. Like the wind is so bad. I'm glad we didn't go. Um, don't know how I'm gonna get to the house. Don't you know that you're beautiful?